Okay, so in the last video, I talked about uh, the variance of uh, the beta parameters that we will get from our OLS estimates. And in this video, I'm going to talk about two important uh, assumptions of OLS uh, estimator that is uh, homoscedasticity and heteroscedasticity. In fact, we want our model to be homoscedastic. So by homoscedasticity, I mean that the variance of uh, the error term ui given education of an ith person it's a constant number so what do i mean by this that is if we draw a graph of all the people in the data we will get a graph like this this is the ols estimated line that we will get as you can see the average distance between our predicted value and uh, the actual value here is equal to or almost identical to the actual value and the predicted value here. That is the variance that we will get from uh, here it is equal to the variance that we will get here. Which means the variance or the difference between our predicted value and the actual value, the square of it, it does not depend on the education level. That is the variance is constant. So this assumption is called homoscedasticity. In contrast, heteroscedasticity means that the variance of these UIs, that is the error term or the residual from our fitted model, given the education level of individual I, it is not a constant number, rather it depends on the education level. As an example, if we have a data like this data and we draw a line in between all these points, we see that the variance the distance between our predicted value and actual value, it is increasing with the education level. People with only a few years of education, there may be fewer choices for them, hence the variability between their wages is very low. People with more education, on the other hand, they may choose to go with, the, with making more money and earn a lot of money and their wages will be very high or they work in, in another environment where uh, their wages are low, for example, these could be teachers. More education but their wage level is low and these could be people working in say Wall Street. So see uh, there's a more variability in the estimated effect of education on wages as uh, people are getting more education. So this is what uh, this heteroscedasticity is trying to show us that the variance it depends on the education level. And later on we will discover some of the problems that arise with uh, the violation of this assumption. So OLS estimates assume that the variance should be constant but if the variance is not constant we will have this heteroscedasticity in the model. So notice here that, that the average effect of education on uh, wages it's, uh, it's still unbiased but it is the variance which is biased. I'll keep talking about the importance of uh, variance in the next video and also for the rest of this class. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.